Hi, my name is Jim Ridge. Um, I'm part of the core company here at APT, the acting company. Um, I actually, <laughs> I don't remember the year. Um, Ken Albers, who directed out here for many years, a beloved uh, friend and colleague, um, brought a tradition over from Utah Shakespeare Festival, uh, which he called the Empty Box. And he, as he presented it, said um, that it was for royal screw-ups and or extraordinary scene chewing uh, in a particular scene during the season. And the acting company got together and awarded um, the award such as it is to uh, the recipient. And it is literally an empty box. And then every year we write in marker uh, the year and who wins and a brief description. So um, I was given the empty box the first year um, because of a comedy of errors. It was a show that Bill Brown directed and he said it sort of um, like um, uh, David Daniel in the beginning was sort of like Indiana Jones and um, oh my gosh, what's the the movie with Bogart? Uh, oh, here's here, here, just looking at you, kid. Casablanca. Casablanca. Jeez. Um, anyway, that was sort of the time period it was set in. So I was playing the Duke, and I had this fez and a beautiful suit, and I was carrying then a revolver. And so in the last act. As all of the stories start to come together, as they do in Shakespeare's comedies, everybody was talking at once, and it was meant to be cacophonous. And I would draw my sidearm and shoot it into the air, which then silenced everyone, uh, and then the story could move forward. Well, um, because of safety, anytime there's a weapon in, in a show, um, it has to be handed off from stage management to the actor. And then same thing. Once you exit stage, you go directly to stage management, hand them. There's a whole procedure about it. You have to look them in the eyes. You have to say thank you. Over the course of the summer, we tend to cut entrances, maybe a little bit fine timing wise. So I got backstage and the assistant stage manager was nowhere to be found. Uh, so I was doing a little dance like where? Hmm. Uh, where, where is she? And I couldn't, nobody knew and I couldn't find her. It's my fault for not showing up earlier. Uh, but then I heard us getting close. So I was like, I go up to the, we had these big stairs over the bridge. So I was like climbing the stairs and looking back and, uh, I never caught sight of her. So I made my entrance and I'm thinking, what in the world am I going to do? I remember my version of the story is that when we got to that point, I just uh, did like a King Kong roar. Everyone else who was there uh, says that I put my finger in the air and went bang. So that was my quick thinking. Uh, and everyone, <laughs> the action did indeed stop on stage. Uh, and everyone was trying then desperately not to pee their pants laughing uh, because I said, bang. I'm part of the committee that chooses the box every year, which I'm really grateful for because I have at least one episode that would put me in the running for it every year. So I'm really glad not to have my name on it multiple, multiple times.